In this video I'm gonna show you my legendary blooded explosive melee build. Let's start with my specials. So as you can see those are my specials, but keep in mind that our two specials are gonna be boosted from mutations, legendary perks and unyielding armor. And those are my specials after they are boosted from legendary perks, mutations and unyielding armor. As you can see this character have 50 base strength which is the highest as you can get without any buffs. Now let's see my mutations. I do have a bunch of mutations. I do have Adrenal Reaction, Carnivore, Electrical Charge, Grounded, Marsupial, Speed Demon, Talon, Twisted Muscle, Unstoppable Monster. Now the important ones are obviously Marsupial and Speed Demon which they are a must have for any type of build. Carnivore it's also a must have for this build since mid buffs are the strongest one for a melee build because they usually give you extra strength and endurance. Adrenal reaction because we are a low health build so we're gonna get extra more damage. Now twisted muscle and talon you do need them for some extra melee damage. Unstoppable isotope and electrical charge they work really well with grenade here and they would make those mutations to be much more efficient and ground in just to get some extra energy resistance. Now let's see the build. Pretty standard strength with incisor, martial artist, blocker, iron fist and barbarian. Now in perception I do have grenadier because it does make my legendary perks to be much more efficient and does make also my mutations to be much more efficient. If you didn't know, grenadier does work with the legendary explosive perks and also with the mutations like electric charge and uh, unstoppable isotope. In endurance I do have adamantium skeleton, fireproof, radical and rejuvenated pretty standard endurance over there. In charisma I do have strange in numbers to get the benefits from mutations, also tenderizer, nerd rage for more damage, here we go in agility. Action Boy and Marathoner. Now you do need Marathoner for a melee build since you're gonna run a lot and this perk is reducing a lot of AP costs when you're running. So it's quite useful. I do have Kung Fu because it does work with melee weapons and it's quite useful when you fight multiple enemies at the same time. And Adrenaline which is gonna work really well with Kung Fu to get some extra damage. Bloody Mass for more damage and here we go in defensive perks with Serendipity and Ricochet. They make a really good combination with each other and give us some extra resistance, extra survivability. Let's go to the legendary perks. And this is the fun part really of this build. We do have legendary strength so we would have 20 base strength without any buffs. Now we do have funky dudes to reduce poison damage because we do need that since we are a bloody build and this is all the part with a lot of explosive perks so we do have collateral damage an explosive perk for melee weapons right we do have also taking one for the team which is going to give us more damage we do have also hack and slash more explosive damage explosive palm more explosive damage so they did really try to buff melee builds with explosive perks that's why I call this build to be an explosive melee build because I do have three type of explosive perks for this build so we're really going all out for maximum explosive damage and maximum damage with taking one for the team and legendary strength. Now when we're talking about armor you do want to have a full on yielding plus one strength set to get that 50 base strength. Now my set is a little bit special because it's a full set of one yielding plus one strength torn armor set which is one of the best set that you could get for a melee build because it's giving you extra bleed damage when you attack something or if something is attacking you it's gonna take bleed damage. For under armor I do use this shielded secret service under armor because it's giving me for strength to perception and for endurance which is just amazing for a melee player for my backpack modification i do use the chemist modification which is reducing all the cam weight and 
doesn't take from my carry weight. I do recommend you to get this one, you just need to grind some reputation with the raiders. Let's talk about weapons. Now the strongest melee weapon in the game, in my opinion, is the power fist. This one is a bloodied swing suite plus one strength, so you do want to get as possible the twerper to be plus one strength, the main one to be bloody, the second one to be swing speed. Now other weapons that I do recommend you to have on you would be a shotgun, which would be really useful to cripple the score beast queen or to cripple score beast to land and you can kill them with your melee weapons. So a shotgun is pretty much a must have for your melee build just to cripple the enemies that are flying. Other weapons that I do recommend would be again a power fist but this time with the executioner legendary effect which can be quite useful against bosses and another one that I do recommend you to get would be the vampire legendary effect with swing speed. This works extremely well with ricochet if you didn't know if you are using a vampire weapon in a combination with ricochet those bullets that are deflecting back in the enemy with the ricochet perk are healing you so using a vampire weapon could be quite viable and this is everything that you should know about this build now keep in mind that this is my build so feel free to make any adjustment that would suit your playstyle. and thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one